Hey there, welcome back. Now let us implement the basic authentication. So to start with this, we need to import this setting in our settings.py. Let me copy this one. So make sure you select your main folder inside which we have settings.py and then here you need to add the basic authentication information. So let me remove session authentication. Yeah, that's it. Now one thing if you're using this class, maybe if this class is active, then you don't have to use like this. You have to copy this one and then add a comma here and add it as a second element. So this is going to be the first element and then this is going to be second element. And let me remove this. So that's how it is going to work. But make sure you don't repeat these things. You don't repeat the two risk framework thing. Otherwise it is going to give error. It's not going to give error, but it is going to override the first one. So we will have the second one as active. So let me add this condition, which is our basic authentication. Once that is done, we can directly utilize it. So at currently we are using basic authentication for complete project. And if you want specific type of authentication for object level, I mean for each individual class, you can define them using this format which is going to be uh, this authentication class and then you can define it. Now this usually works well when maybe you have created views specifically for token authentication and you are using on your own app, you are completely using basic authentication, but maybe for this particular class, you want to integrate it with maybe a mobile application. So you can add a token authentication specifically for this class but we are going to utilize the basic authentication on our complete application. So we have added them in our settings.py. Now it's applied to all the classes. And suppose if we have option like this, only authenticated user can access it. So we are going to test this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the review list. And my URL is going to be slash review. Let me copy this one and let me first check which is the active one. So this is going to be the JS and we have two ratings. So I'm going to utilize this one. Get here, click on plus, we have get request and then instead of admin, I'm going to call this as watch slash two slash reviews slash. And currently I haven't added any type of request in the form of header or body. Let me send a get request. I got an error that authentication is required. Now to add authentication, what we can do is we can send information through header. And here I can mention all the requirement. Now to send a basic authentication requirement, we can simply add information in the form of authorization. So here I'm going to use authorization. And here I need to pass basic and then my username and password in the form of encoded one. So if I use basic and let me try to pass a username and password directly. So this is my username and this is my password. And if I send a request, you can see I got an error that I need to pass them in the form of base 64 encoded format. So let me try to convert them. Uh, let me try to visit the website. So just search about any base 64 encode, you will get a different websites here. And here let me use Shubham and then password. So this is my username. This is my password. Uh, I think this is visible now. Once that is done, scroll down, click on encode and copy this one. So from front end side, we are going to get access in the form of base 64. If I jump back here, instead of Shubham password, I'm going to pass this encoded format. And if I send a request, you can see I'm able to access it. And here, if I untick this one, that means I'm not sending any request in the form of username and password. That means I'm going to get error. So that's how basic authentication is going to work if I'm going to test this in the form of Postman. So if I want to send a request through authorization, send, that means we are logged in and we are able to access. If I just untick this one, send a request, that means we are not logged in. So that's how it is going to work. And if I try to work with our browsable API, 
So let me jump here. Now you can see we got a pop up regarding username as well as password. So if I pass my username, you can see now I am able to access it. Now if I try to log out or if I try to close this, open again, you will see we are going to have some issue. So that's all. So that was it regarding basic authentication. We mainly use these type of tasks through Postman. Since in future lectures, then we need to pass some tokens. Either we can use the CMD or terminal or it is recommended to utilize the Postman. If I send an authentication request, send, it is going to work fine. That's it. That's all with our authentication part. That is basic authentication. Now remember if we are not logged in, if we send a request, you can see we get a message with 401 unauthorized. So we usually get 401 unauthorized when we are not authenticated. Now this was only recommended for test purpose. Now before moving forward, we also need to remove the temporary login link now. So if you jump onto the main urls.py inside our watchmate, just uh, I'm removing this now because now we are adding our own authentication part. So we are not going to utilize this temporary login. Now we can use Postman. That's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, let us discuss about token authentication. And this is going to be pretty important. So thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.